Hello, Erwin. Hello, Erwin. Er <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I was thinking of a um, um, Billy and Mandy. Uh, Erwin. I haven't seen that in ages. Yeah, so me neither. But... Steam's doing a big demo event, and I've downloaded 36 demos. So much fucking demos. Look at all these. Demos. I didn't realize you downloaded all these. Yeah, already. these are already all downloaded. I just I just looked at screenshots, and these are the ones that appealed to me in one way or another. And we're just gonna play random ones until we run out of time, I guess. All right. Uh, which you pick first? Uh, I'm just gonna scroll around a bit um, until something stands out to you. I'm gonna play happy game demo. <laughs> The one with the little, that, oh, fourth that one. one. See. Do -doop. It looks, um, kind of upsetting. Oh, this is Amanita design. They made Kuchel and, uh, Machinarium and both Botanicula and Samarost and they're like these, they're like these cute little slightly creepy, completely nonverbal point and click adventure games. Perfect. They don't, that sounds about right. They, everyone makes like everyone like nee, nee, at you. <laughs> they make noises at you. This is already the best loading screen I've ever seen in my whole yeah. life. Do you want to play it? No. <laughs> you don't want to play it. No, you play. It. Okay, I'll probably need to use the control the the mouse for this. It's all point and click. Keith is better with with the technical aspects, yeah. but I will be here for guidance. So. I, this is a weird case where they, they had a video that weirdly took off for me. Uh, I played Samaros 3 and it's one of the most viewed videos on my entire channel and I don't know why. <laughs> it's completely out of left field. Look at a little fucking little inferno looking goober. That, that's, okay, that's exactly what I was gonna say. This sort of reminds me of a little inferno. In style, at least. Is he? Oh, he's sleepy. Then the bed eats him. It's okay, he's got a dream catcher to keep him safe. Nope. Yep. I think it is time to say flashing light warning, which I think I saw the game do for a second there. This is creepy. He's... He's breathing a little bit hard there. <laughs> oh no! I woke him up with my creepy hand. Oh, no. oh he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Well, I mean, would you like that, Keith? Slap him. Can I pick him up? <gasps> no! Oh, it's creepy sounding. Look at my little hand. My hand's doing a little like finger animation. A present in the darkness. What can go wrong? He sounds like Nanalan. Do you remember Nanalan? Oh, what's Nanalan? I was, it was a kid's show that really wasn't really for kids. Is it the people that did Super uh, Meaty? Mr. Meaty? Is Nanalan the one where the child is the, like kind of nonverbal and, little and green hangs girl? Out in her grandma's yard? Yeah. Because Nana land. It's like vaguely terrifying. It's grandma's land. Well, that escalated a bit. Would you like to go back to sleep, child? Hmm? He's. Probably would if he could. What about you? Gotta check out the third one. <laughs> Are you okay, Amanita Design? It's stretching. Now, if I let go and fling it back at the hand. <laughs> it actually worked. I was just joking. I didn't think that's how that was actually gonna go. Oh, yeah, no, the uh. They make very tactile games, or at least they have been lately, where you kind of just fiddle with stuff. It's like a different take on, like, the adventure game logic, where just. They're just baffling and weird. Well, this kind of stuff's good for the human brain. Yeah. Like, instead of, uh... Instead of, like, use this rubber chicken on this pulley or whatever, and you'd be like, what? That worked? It's, like, weird, like... Tactile movements, and you're trying to figure out what to do with it. You kind of do stuff until something works. It's a... Uh. Experiment in persistence. Uh. I killed the clown, and now he's more angry, or that he lives a killer clown from outer space now. Hey! It's a, uh, it's a Petroshka, Shkashka. It's a Matryoshka Matry doll Matryoshka. of a babushka. Babushka Matryoshka. Just... I always remember Matryoshka because of uh, Call of Duty Zombies. You make a bomb out of them. Wow! I love Matryoshka dolls. I used to collect them. Oop. Do I do it harder or less harder? <laughs> this one just jiggles a little bit. Wow. 
He just <laughs> screamed at his feet. Oh, he's like, he's like, what do you expect me to help you, Keith? Come on now, I don't even speak English. I just had to swing it harder. He's just a little baby. He doesn't know how to talk to you, Keith. Oh, the face is getting darker. Ooh, I like it. Look at the little gremlin little, face. Little, little teeth. <laughs> Whoa! And your food will turn to ash in your mouth. And then you will know I have had my revenge. You, Sean. Okay. Oh no! This is <laughs> this is a tone departure for this company, from what I remember. <laughs> this is, wow. <laughs> oh fuck uh, that kid! That, that little flash of bad feelings. Dude. Oh my god. Why am I having a nightmare about being- Oh, it's because I'm still- Yeah, it's still a nightmare. Oh my god. Are they trying to get that FNAF audience today? Is that their call? I have, um, younger brothers and sisters, and I've definitely gotten into fights with little kids as- as a kid when I could still legally- and not get in trouble for yelling at children that were slightly younger than me. Yeah. Come back, ball. Phantoms of balls, as far as I can see. To go up into the Chuck E. Cheese tubes and yell at some kid for picking on your little brother. <laughs> oh. Decapitated dog. Bird. Be bear. That's the word. Good job. Bear. <laughs> yeah, that's there a bear is. key. I, I, I said all the wrong words. What is happening? He Would wants you it. like this? He likes it. Yay! Wow! Nothing can go wrong here. Not the toy I thought you were gonna pick, but alright. Yeah. Oh, he's like my inventory or some shit. Oh, he oh. holds items for uh. you, so you can- you, uh. your hand is free. It's a, uh, lift the clown. They really want to see what's under that one. Is it your dreams? Oh no, it's the creepy monkey. I hate him. Oh, I thought it was the little boy who picked on you earlier. No one no one likes that monkey, right? Like, fuck that monkey. Um... Those creepy wide eyes and the those little... Little symbols he bashes together. And he's like, go, he's always got a grin. Wasn't there a scary movie that involved one of those? I can't click on this thing. Um... It sounds like... I feel like I remember a scene... Oh, you know what? It was in Toy Story. It was in Toy Story. One of the later ones, like the last one. Where like they're trying to sneak around and there's just this like guard monkey and he's got his little chimes and he's oh. he's horrifying. You like that kid? Yeah, do you like your new do toy? You, do you like him? He's like, nah. <laughs> he's like, I can live without that. Look at my little twiddly fingers on my mouse. Maybe this one will have the head. Uh-oh. Oh, are you gonna take his head off and put it on the monkey? Oh, I didn't get him. I thought I was gonna get him. I thought so too. The, uh, there he is! There he is! You want him! You want him! You know he's cute! He's the cutest! I really hate him. No, he looks good. He looks like he's gonna be fun. Can't like lift it high enough. Something's wrong. I need to drop this one down on you. Is it like, a, do I have a budget of how many of these I can have up? I don't know the rules. Oh, yeah, it, that worked. God, he's horrible. I- th he's just the cutest. No. Look at that. Uh. <laughs> He's like poised to strike. Oh, hell yeah. Why is he happy? Cause this is the best. No. Okay, yeah, big flashing light warnings. It's like- it's like Chuck E. Cheese, but with better animatronics. He didn't like that sound? He didn't like that you, You're waking him up. Wake him up, wake him up. I feel like we're gonna see somebody slowly s stirring a spoon around the teacup. <laughs> oh god, there's a lot of flashing lights. Yeah, sorry everyone. Ooh. 
Look no, he's oh god, he's bleeding everywhere. Look what you did. The kid did this in some sort of like fit of rage. Yay, the ball. I have no attention span or object permanence. All of that doesn't exist to me now. All those things you liked are dead. We. <laughs> Where's that? The kid's gonna show up. You better be prepared to fight him. <laughs> Their games are usually so wholesome. I think this is pretty wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> It's that kid! Oh, the creepy smile face. This is his perception of... Oh, of... Uh, Ooh, uh, I love it! I love it! Look how wet it is. Oh, I love it. Look at the creepy connection. It's disgusting. Oh my god. I like how you, you invite me to do creepy. this, and you ask me to pick a game, and I pick this. <laughs> you should have known better. I, I mean, I did pick multiple horror games. They're not that common, because there just aren't that many of them, but there's like three more in here somewhere. Or horror-like games. What do you want from me? You gotta go, go hug his hands. That looks like a person. You don't like it? He's like, mm. <laughs> I guess that means Nana he. Nana land. I guess his feet are stuck because he screams at his feet. <laughs> I like the screaming at his feet. Animation. He's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what they want from me though. Oh, I clicked on his belly and his arms went out a little bit. Hmm. This is what's actually kind of frustrating about their game sometimes. Is I'm like, okay, come on, what what even is the verb here? Uh what about his, what about his, is the his right hand? <laughs> you know, it's funny because like without it makes like a creaking noise. Without you controlling him, it just like I'm imagining this kid doesn't see that you're doing this, so this thing just looks like it's waving its arms back and forth and like idle animationing all over the place and not really doing anything. It's probably very confused. There's like an audio there's like audio playing from the chasm when it's open. I think you should go in there. I don't know how. <laughs> like, all, like, all I can do is mouse and he can't move. What am I what am I missing? There's like nothing here. If, it's, if the fingers spread out, it's interactive. That, I mean, that's a nice gesture. Can you click him up? Can I drag him? No. A bunch and tickle him? I mm. can't drag these arms inward. See, even he's like, doesn't know what you're supposed to do with him. He's like waving his arms back and forth. Like, I don't know. Can you can you can you lift his head up and then click inside of his mouth before his mouth shuts? No, not no. really. You just drag really far up to even do that. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, no, it shuts I instantly. Don't, I don't get it. His eyeballs? No. I don't get it at all. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Keith. Well, that was the demo. Yep. Look forward to the full game, everybody. <laughs> Good luck at figuring that one out. I did like looking at him, though. Yeah. Hey, guys, this Let's Try and the ones around it were recorded during the Steam Game Festival that ran from February 3rd to February 9th, during which a bunch of indie games had publicly available limited time demos. So if I seem a little bit like I'm in a hurry and these videos are a little short, it's because I'm trying to cover as many games as I can in only a few days. But uh, hey, and if you, by the time you get these videos out, the demos might not be available anymore, but if you like what you see, you can go to click the link in the description and go to the store page for each game and you can hit add it to your wishlist and you'll be notified when it comes out.